Hello everybody, I hope you are doing well and I hope you are all safe. In this video I'm going to go through tutorial number three in which we are going to learn how to machine a pocket, a central pocket like the one shown on the screen. As we did before, we are going to follow the Mastercam procedure. So first we create the geometry uh, using Mastercam then we will define the zero point for machining then we select our milling machine and then a view toolpath manager in order to uh, make this stock setup and tool settings machine operations verify the operations and then we generate the G code in this uh, tutorial we have a part that has dimensions 3 by 3 and thickness 0.25 quarter inch we have four holes, so we're going to spot it, drill these holes and then drill it. Diameter of the hole is 0.25 and it's through all. Also, we have uh, this contour. So we will machine this contour to depth uh, minus 0.25. Then finally, we machine this pocket. All right, so let's get started. First, I'm going to create the geometry using Mastercam. So we go to wireframe, then rectangle. We enter three inches for width and three inches for the height. Let us lock the dimension. And as you can see, by default, the cursor will be anchored to the lower left corner. So I'm going to change this to anchor to center. Uh, so this way we locate the center of the rectangle at the origin. Remember, feel free to locate your drawing uh, wherever it makes it easier for you to draw the geometry because later on we are going to define the zero point for machining. So for drawing, you can locate the zero point anywhere. Uh, next, I'm going to draw maybe the uh, pocket so using rectangular shape the pocket dimension is one inch so I will set the origin to the center and we enter one inch for height and one inch for width lock the dimension and for the fillet radius we enter 0.25 Click at the origin, and here we are. The pocket is now completed. We have four holes, so I'm going to draw a circle of diameter 0.25. So let us enter 0.25 for the diameter and lock the dimension. Now enter the center point. So press and hold the middle wheel and hit the space bar in order to display the input area here. And for the center point coordinate, we can enter one inch for x, comma, and one inch for y. We click OK, the, the blue check mark, so that OK, and create a new operation, because I need to draw another circle, for which diameter is half inch, and then we pick the center here. Click OK. We are done with the two circles. Now I'm going to rotate in order to create the pattern of four holes. So let's go to transform and then rotate. Select the two circles, then end selection. Rotation center point should be at the origin, so that is, that's fine. We don't need to change anything here and angle is 90 degrees and of course I need uh, three more then we click OK right click and clear colors okay now we have a, a big arc with radius point uh, 2.25 so let's go to wireframe and then arc tangent 
arc tangent. And from method, I'm going to choose arc two entities. Arc two entities. The radius is 2.25. 2.25, and I'm going to lock this radius. So now we click on the first circle, second circle, and MasterCam will suggest uh, many solutions uh, uh, that satisfy these conditions. So actually we need this one. So I'm going to select this one and click OK. Similarly, we click on this circle, this circle, and we select this arc. Click OK. This circle, this circle, and we select this arc. And click OK. And the last one is to click this circle and this circle on the upper right corner and we select this arc. The solution is the one we are after. Okay. Now we just need to trim these circles. So trim, I can use divide and trim is activated. Then we just click on the part that we don't need from the circle and click OK. Okay, this way the uh, geometry of our part has been completed. That's all for this uh, for this stage. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.